Hey guys, Paul from Drone U here today, and we had exclusive access to test and fly the new 3D Robotics Solo Drone. And frankly, it is a game changer, so stay tuned to find out why. Today here at NAB 2015, and we're talking about the new 3DR Solo. This is Solo, and Solo means it can operate on its own, or you can be a solo pilot and get set up. So, you know, we, we kind of cracked the code of getting quality footage when we came out with brush samples and news and things like that. But my question is, with that cable cam feature, can we set those two points on the cable and then use the drone as a full 360 degree camera angle? Of course. So you're shooting surfing? Put it where they paddle in, where they come off the wave. You set your speed to be about the speed of the wave. So you can manually fly it up and down the cable, mm -hmm. right? Or you just hit play and let the copter move at a perfect rate while you control the camera. Or if it's not live action and you want a really scripted, beautiful shot, you just turn on the setting to memorize the view lock, which means not only does the copter move along the cable, but it actually pans and tilts for you all five axes perfectly in combination, easing to a stop. But you don't want to forget recording, right? So you have the setting turned on in your app so that when I hit play, it starts recording on the GoPro, executes the shot, and then stops recording on the GoPro. Boom, video file, ready for the next shot. You can adjust your radius, your speed, your altitude. I can change in real time. If I want to have it focusing on the top of the lighthouse or the bottom of the lighthouse, as I change my altitude, the gimbal automatically changes. I'm in some beautiful location and I want to get a pull-out reveal. I set the copter on the ground. I hit my app here and I have my shop list. I hit selfie. A little third view satellite window pops out so I can see where my selfie line is going to be. I can change and go to full screen satellite. Now, of course, I don't have satellite in here, so I, it thinks I'm in the middle of the ocean. I can adjust if I want to the altitude of the selfie, the speed, the distance it goes away. And I just sit back here, I can go back to my full screen. Now it says hold fly to take off and begin selfie. All I did was say shots, selfie, hold fly. It auto takes off, does a big boom out, pull away reveal, auto tilting the gimbal to keep you in frame. You want that reveal to be like a straight up reveal? No problem. You want it to go pretty much straight out, it's all just a couple sliders. Hit start, takes off, rolling on the GoPro, boom out, reverse the shot right back in on you, auto land, turn off the props, next shot. So it's about getting footage, going home at the end of the day with, with footage. Now before you get around to taking that memory card out of the GoPro and doing the whole post-production workflow and rectifying the image and stuff like that, I can have it set so that when I'm recording on the GoPro, I'm also recording the live HD stream straight to my camera roll of my device. Now you can do whatever you want with it. Take a little 15 second clip, post it out to Instagram while you're still in the air saying, cool video coming soon, guys. Just think of anything you would ever want to do with an aerial rig. This can do it, I promise. The cool thing about it is it's all about future expandability. You have these onboard computers. So every 60 to 90 days, we have rolling updates coming out for the app. There's no USB cables and drivers and firmware and, and applications for your computer. Now my mobile app updates the computer on the controller, the computer on the copter, the autopilot on the copter, and the gimbal firmware. All for one tap on a mobile app, right? So always getting better. We've got an accessory bay on the bottom. This one has an optical flow sensor while it's sitting perfectly still there. So you want to fly indoors, you want optical flow and LiDAR, no problem, accessory. You're going to fly over crowds and you want a ballistic parachute system so it can be safe for flying over crowds, no problem accessory. Nice. You want a super bright LED light to hover over set and cast down moonlight, no problem accessory. The GoPro is obviously a better image, but who wants to take a 15 minute recording every time they fly? So we've worked super closely with GoPro. There's actually a custom firmware coming out or an updated firmware coming out for GoPro cameras. With that new firmware, you'll be able to remotely control the GoPro from our app. Start video, stop video, take photos, change frame rate, change exposure compensation. 
everything you can do with an integrated camera with your GoPro. Motor pods, same thing. Four screws, pull ESC and motor pulls out, unplug it, grab a new one, plug it in, take that sandy motor that just got sand in it at the beach, drop in a brand new one, you're back up in the air. No soldering, no taking Woo! the whole thing apart. So it is, it is all about just being out in the field, capturing shots. This is truly a game changer in so many ways. From the cable operation to the orbit operation, the, the follow me, the selfie, I mean, and the fact that you can upgrade it, you know? And you were saying it's so easy to upgrade this. It's not like the other systems where you have to unsolder, or unscrew. You literally take it right apart. You're at the beach, you're flying, you get some sand in the motors, pop this off with a little screwdriver, or actually you can do it with your fingernail. Uh -huh. Four screws. The whole, this whole pod right here just comes right out, unplugs, take a new one, plug it in, drop it in, four screws, you're back up in the air. Boom, done. Yeah. So it's wow. A, it's that easy serviceability. Now, for customer support, every time I turn this on, as soon as I'm connected to two Linux computers, we're logging over 500 different parameters 10 times a second in real time. It creates a trouble ticket in our tech support desk. We call you, we walk through the entire flight with you. We know everything about the flight, over 500 different parameters, down to the RPM, the amp draw of each individual motor. And then we can determine, oh, there was an issue with the drone. The autopilot failed or the compass got confused and it caused you to lose your drone. You get a free drone, free gimbal, and we even pay to replace your GoPro. Wow, that's taking customer service to the next level. That's right. It's, it, we literally modeled Zappos, REI, Nordstrom, and that's the type of customer service and, and the confidence we want people to have in being able to invest in a nice drone. Wow, that is phenomenal. And that customer support is going to go so far because it's been an issue for other carriers. And frankly, that is awesome. I have one last question. I know it's been a long interview. What about upgradable cameras are is this going to be able to have a higher payload a higher camera so if i'm doing you know mapping like with a drone deploy or whatnot so that's that's the reason the gimbal bay is called a gimbal bay so three screws a plug and an hdmi cable wow so there's be all kinds of gimbals and imaging sensors and i can tell you that there was people in that crowd that there's there's a lot of it will be highly updatable and expandable we are so excited for it, and I'm hoping that we can talk your marketing department into testing one sure. with this whole cable cam yeah, for operation sure. for wake surfing. Right. But Colin, thank you so much for your time. We are thank so you. excited. Our students have already been talking about it like, extensively. In fact, awesome. Todd is over here managing them. He's one of our students from uh, the ABC News Network Excellent. and whatnot. Love it, love it, love it. But Colin, thank you again so much. Is there anything else you want to say about the solo to a potential buyers? Because you, you've got a lot on the hook right now. You know, I, I think it's just about, we just wanted to make a product that people would love to use. So there's no beta testing on customers? No beta testing on customers. If it's not working for you, if you don't like it, return it. Wow, and that's Worldwide. it. And that's how you do service. You treat people the way you want to be treated. It's that's awesome. Right. Love it. When I had the opportunity to fly the Solo, I didn't realize I'd be one of the few or the only one to fly it. And I have to tell you, I was stunned and shocked. Well, why? Because the old Iris Plus was a very light drone, and if you've ever flown one, it's not as nimble or agile as the Phantom 2. And I used to fly Phantom 2s all the time and still do to this day to make money. It's what I've used as my go-to reliable platform. Well, that's all gonna change because of the Solo. The Solo is a platform that can be constantly expanded and also subtracted, meaning you can use this, this platform to upgrade the drum, to upgrade the camera, to upgrade the gimbal, and even access accessories, things that you could never do with a Phantom 2. The other thing is the motors are larger on the Solo. So is the battery. The Phantom 3 has a 4S 4400 milliamp hour battery, whereas the Solo drone has a 4S 5200 milliamp hour battery. So you're actually getting the flight times that are advertised and marketed. Whereas if you're flying a Phantom 2 or a Phantom 3 in higher elevations, you're not gonna come anywhere close to the advertised flight time. It's just not real. The other reason I love the Solo, not only is it an upgradable platform, 
Not only is it such a game changer because of what they're doing with it, but imagine if you could use a Phantom for industrial inspections, because you can't right now. You normally need a much larger drone, a coaxial, something that has unlimited waypoints. Well, now with the solo drone, you can do that. So we're taking the cost of industrial inspections down significantly. And that solo drone is a lot heavier than the Phantom 3. If you've ever flown the Iris Plus drone versus a Phantom 2, you know the Phantom 2 is a lot more stable. Some people say it's because of the weight, because other than the weight, there's not many differences. Well, the Solo is now heavier than the Phantom 3, so you're actually going to be able to fly in much higher winds. Now, Colin told me you could fly in up to 35 mile an hour winds, but there's the other thing. A lot of people love the Inspire 1 because of the speed and the capability to get beautiful footage at those speeds without any jello. Well, did you know the Solo drone has a top speed of 55 miles an hour? Did you know the Solo drone has adjustable gain and motor control in app and in controller while you're flying in real time? Try doing that with your Phantom 3, because you can't. You can't even do it on the Inspire 1. If you want to in-flight change the game, it's just not possible. That's the great thing about the Solo. If you're flying indoors, you can slow those motor gains down. Or if you're flying outdoors and you need to get that tracking or subject tracking shot, you can absolutely do it. But the quintessential reason of why the Solo is the best drone on the market, why will I be buying the Solo over the Phantom 3? Well, unlike the Phantom series where they have new Phantoms coming out, or if you want to upgrade the Inspire 1, you're paying multiple thousands of dollars, I have the speed and power of an Inspire 1 with the capability of a Phantom 2 in the Solo drone that's also upgradable after time. It also logs all of my flight data, but the most important thing, Normally, to get these beautiful cinematic shots, you need a dual operator rig. You need a rig where you have one person flying and you have one person controlling the camera. Well, now with the Solo drone, you can actually map your cable so you don't have to do it in your waypoints. You can actually fly it yourself, map it, and then let the drone autonomously fly that and actually move the gimbal an entire 360 degree rotation while the drone is flying that cable autonomously. So negate the communication with the second operator, negate all the practice hours that you would normally have with a second operator, because now you can do it yourself, you can take home more money, and you're spending less on your equipment. But even better, you're supporting an American manufacturer. So if you haven't had a chance to check out the Solo Drone, get your hands on one. My name is Paul, this is The Drone You.